the 2008 Bell County Bobcats strolled into the postseason with a 10-0 record, averaged 48 points per game on offense, and in those 10 games, the defense pitched seven shutouts. Bell rolled through winless Lawrence County in the first round and a solid Rockcastle County team in the second round. The final three games of Bell County season is when it gets interesting. The first time Bell County knocked Central met, it was a 21-0 final, but it was closer than, the, than that score even indicated. The game swung in the first half on a fake punt and a fumble on the goal line. Since that game, the Panthers have won 8 of 9 and have momentum on their side. But remember, it's always colder on top of Log Mountain, especially in the playoffs. Always colder on Log Mountain is right. The Bobcats jumped out to a 10-0 lead on the Panthers, but Knox Central fought back in the second half and took a 14-13 lead. That was the first time all season Bell County trailed in a game. And we're in the second half of the region final. Under five minutes to go, a big gain for Matt Raines helped seal the deal with a touchdown for Bell County. They edged out Knox Central 19 to 14. Up next for the number one team in the mountains was a team all too familiar with the state turf. The only time Bell County made it to the state title game was in 1991 when the Bobcats claimed the title over Meade County. Meade was led by Larry French in 1991. Tonight the Bobcats faced Boyle County led by Larry French. It's deja vu all over again. The Bobcats and their fans are ready for this game on Log Mountain and it was cold. Trust me, I was there. Coach Hilton telling Shante Zachary, we're going to throw it. Zachary says, okay. Connects with Adam Overbay for a first down. Bobcats on the move. Bell County's defense wouldn't be denied, though. Matt Simpson comes up with the interception and the touchdown return. 7-0 Bobcats. They are loving it up on Log Mountain. But we go to the scoreboard and check it out. Bell County did a really good job moving this ball through the air. And on the scoreboard, this one. Stayed a low-scoring game, but Bell County gets the win 17-15. Bell County punched its ticket to Papa John's Cardinal Stadium where they awaited the Bullet East Chargers. We go to the highlights. Bell County, Dominic Carton takes it straight up the middle for a big game, but check it out. He'll get brought down at the one yard line. First and goal for the Cats. Fourth and goal, Zachary back to pass looking for Matt Simpson, but it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Bullet East up 7 0 at the break in the third. Chargers with the football. Matthew Bowles throws it deep, but Zachary is there for the interception. That would lead to a short touchdown run by Spencer Greer, and we are all tied up at seven. Greer picks up the first down. It is first and goal for the Bobcats. Bell County fans a little nervous. It's fourth down and goal from the nine. Zachary with the jump pass to John Dudley Hilton for the touchdown. Extra point, no good. Bullet East driving. Bowles back to pass. Hilton comes up with the interception, but Bell County could do nothing with it. So Bullet East again with the football, under a minute to play. Bulls lets it fly on fourth down. The ball is tipped and caught by Zach McCarthy at the one. Fourth and one, 10 seconds left. McCarthy takes it in. The score is now 15-13. The entire season rides on this two-point conversion. Bell County comes up with the stop. The Bobcats win their first state title since 1991. Bell County reached the state semifinals the following two seasons, but nothing has since come close to the magic captured by Dudley Hilton in that 2008 team that reminded the Bobcat faithful what it's like to walk off the field as state champions.